Joining us here at Post 9 today is Fannie Mae's chief economist, Doug Duncan. Doug, welcome. It's good to have you. Thanks. Great to be here. We were thinking maybe we might see some action in apps, but three-month low now. Is it just too early? Well, I think there's a little bit of a 7% hurdle in people's minds. Uh, as rates have gone above 7, things have slowed down for the last couple of weeks, both purchase and refinance. Refinance is obvious just because of where rates are and how many people have locked in low rates. Right. What do you think the magic number is? Probably around six and a half. We did see uh, for a period last year, uh, we did see rates get down in that range from the 7%, and there was a pickup in ap application activity. One of the things that's going on is uh, since rates first rose up to that 7% level, we've now had about two years of income growth in that time period. So if you look long term at what's a normal interest rate, from World War II out to 2000, it was about 6%. So we're actually just above what would be a long-term normal number. It's just that incomes need to adjust to accommodate that. What about the, uh, the, the sales listings? Because I, I note that those, those have come up mm -hmm. relative. Is that because we haven't seen as much pressure on the upside on rates? Well, we, we survey consumers uh, 1,000 a month using all the federal statistics pr uh, properties. And the sell side is more optimistic than the buy side. So what you've got is people who currently own a home that are seeing with house prices where they are, this might be a decent time to take some value out of that house. But on the, on the buy side, people who are thinking about buying a home affordable. Well, because prices have held up so high. That they would have, make sense. That's right. Well, there's sort of a, we see sort of a floor on the level of existing home sales even if economic times are difficult, of around 4 million units, given our demographic profile. And we're right around that for existing homes. Now, uh, listings have come up a little bit. About, uh, they've gone from about three months supply to about three and a half months supply. The number of houses has also been rising on the existing home side. Are you seeing any, um, anything reliable in the cracks of, say, asking prices in Austin or parts of Florida or other areas of Texas? Well, you've definitely see, seen a pickup in the listings in both of those states. I actually live in southwest Florida in Cape Coral, which I think has had the biggest percentage <laughs> increase of existing homes <laughs> for various reasons. Insurance rates, for one thing, because Ian visited there a couple of years ago. Uh, that actually uh, destroyed a, a fair number of homes, which are all being rebuilt. So there's a lot of new builders in that area. So supply is coming up there. Some people are revisiting as, do we want to stay here for another hurricane or whatever? But it, it's still a pretty, a pretty good market. The listings that are coming on the market are uh, usually aspirational. And then you'll see a little bit of a down, uh, them relisting at a bit of a lower price. And that's why we're getting a tick up in some price cuts. That's yes? right. That's right. A little bit of a slowdown. Um, what's my other question? Are you worried about rates impacting the longer term pipeline of multifamily, let's say? Things to worry about in 25. Yeah, actually, there's about a half a million units that will come on the market this year in the multifamily. Austin is a poster child right. for that. Uh, and uh, so that is holding rents down below the rate of inflation. Uh, we think maybe about one and a half percent appreciation this year and inflation is running at about three. Uh, but the other thing that's happened is the rise in funding costs for the multifamily builders has suggested a big drop off in construction. So starting maybe in 26 or 27, we might be hearing lack of supply again on the apartment side because of that uh, adjustment in the cost of construction.